morning. How's everybody doing today? Doing well, thank you for asking. Body beat down. Michael, at your service on this hump day morning. It's a loud horn. So, a little topic for discussion today. And I'm going to call him out because... Well, I'm, I'm just going to call him out. So, the discussion kind of came up yesterday uh, on Facebook Messenger. Uh, me, both my boys, and one of my nephews uh, are in a group chat, and we're always, you know, chatting and stuff. And the new game came out yesterday, and we just kind of got in a discussion, me and my oldest son, you know... I said something about, you know, well, we're never on the same schedule. We can never play. We never, you know, everybody says they want to play together, but we seem to have a really hard time doing it. And so he came back with a, I'm just paraphrasing. I'm just kind of throwing out kind of what he said, but he said that I work out too much. He said, you spend all your time working out, doing stuff, instead of spending time with family. And instantly, I thought, uh, spending time online playing a video game isn't really spending time with family. Of course, that's what I told him. So, he's not really the biggest supporter of me. I, I think he has something against me. I'm not really sure. But hold on, we got a car. Anyway, I don't guess he has anything against me. What I think it is is He's mad at himself for his own problems. And so he just looks at me. Because uh, that's not the first negative thing he said. He also told me a long time back that, you know, nobody wants to see your videos. Nobody wants to see, you know, some old man working out. Which is a super nice thing of your kid to say. You know, the one person that should be supporting you. So, this isn't necessarily bringing attention to my son and just kind of our relationship. Or lack thereof, we love one another. I mean, we cut up and stuff. We have a good time. Whenever we do see each other, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Uh, let's just say I'm the dad. And I don't like excuses, and I don't like horse crap, and, you know, take blame for your own life, your own things. That's how I am, and I think that's why we kind of butt heads. Be responsible. Don't put blame on other people for stuff. Anyway, so this is really just kind of a segue into other people that say these things that working out is a waste of time and in the same breath they're going to tell you you should spend more time with your family basically playing video games online so sitting around playing a video game which I'm all for I'm a video gamer I love it that's more important in life than taking care of yourself. They laugh at people, they look at people as stupid and childish, immature, wasting time, all that good stuff. They try to take care of themselves. So they're the same way, but a lot of people are. What it is, is they're jealous, they're lazy, and they're ignorant. 
anyone who thinks like that. Taking care of yourself is the most important thing in your life. It's more important than your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your dogs, your cats. It's more important than your children, your grandchildren. It's more important than your job. It's more important than anything. Because without your health, you have nothing at all. Nothing. <laughs> so, me taking care of myself is the most important thing I can do. And the people telling you that you're wasting your time that it's stupid, it's ignorant, spend too much time, yada, yada, yada. They're the ones that are usually lazy, have no motivation, sitting around, usually overweight. My son ain't overweight because he's dying from diabetes. So he's lost a lot of weight. Yeah, this is the same son that's dying of diabetes. That, had he taken care of himself the first time that he was diagnosed with pre-diabetes, he could have turned his life around. Then when he was diagnosed with type 1 or type 2, whatever it is, the kind that's controllable easily, he could have turned his life around. He didn't. Then when he got diagnosed with what I call deadly diabetes, he's still not taking care of himself. He eats garbage all the time. Matter of fact, today's his birthday and he wants cheeseburger, fries, and cake. And he'll have it, he'll get it. His mom's gonna get it for him. So his mom's part of the problem too. So all this really is just trying to get out the message of these people that say these things, you better push them out of your lives because they are a virus. They are not what you want to have, you know, giving you advice. So, anyway, that's kind of the talk that I wanted to have today. How horrible is it for someone to tell you not to take care of yourself? Do you have to lift heavy weights to take care of yourself? Absolutely not. Not in the least. You can do push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, dips, eat healthy, and you're good to go absolutely will be as healthy as it gets we lift weights because we like the challenge we lift weights because it's fun we lift weights because it's therapeutic we lift weights to help with depression anxiety things in our daily lives such as the things i'm talking about <laughs> no you don't have to lift heavy guys not a single dang heavy weight has to be moved but we do it because some of us enjoy it. My days are filled with exercise. And by filled, I don't mean all day, every day. It doesn't take 24 hours to work out. But let me let the car go by. I got another car. Let me let a car go by. Then we'll continue the discussion so today let's take today for instance this is my first exercise that I do of the day I get off my bus in the morning instantly do my walk I go in put my keys and wallet and glasses down go pee step outside and walk every day seven days a week then, when I get in, 
I make my breakfast. Sometimes it's breakfast number one. Sometimes it's the second time I've ate in the day. But normally it's normally it's going to be the first time. But anyway, that's beside the point. I eat breakfast. I let that digest for a minute. I click around on the computer for a minute. And typically, by about 9 a.m., I start spinning on the bike. My walks every day take me a good 35 minutes. I spin on the bike 30 minutes. I do both of these things seven days a week. You're looking at maybe an hour and 10 minutes or so. You know, hour and 10 minutes a day to put towards your health. Okay? Every day, no, Monday through Friday, used to be six days, but Monday through Friday, I work out. Monday through Thursday, nine times out of 10, 10 times out of 10, I'm starting my workout by 4 p.m. It might be 4.05, it might be 4.10. It just depends on if I had to use the restroom or if I was getting supper going, you know, that, that'll be ready for when I'm done or whatever. But usually it's like 4 p.m. And I'll work out for a good hour. If it's a normal workout, a good hour, I'll work out. It takes that long, guys. Especially if you're shooting videos. After I work out, I eat. Most times, my supper is cooking while I'm working out. I have something on low, or it's already cooked, ready for me to just warm up and eat. Whatever it is. I eat after I work out. I sit at my desk while I'm eating. As I'm eating, I'm uploading videos to my computer. As I'm eating, I'm editing videos on my computer. Then, once I'm done editing, I'm uploading videos to YouTube. And I'm creating thumbnails. Sometimes thumbnails can take five minutes. Sometimes they can take two hours. It just depends on the complexity of your thumbnail and what you want to do. While that's happening, I'm finishing up my supper because it's in between editing and eating. And then while it's uploading, I may be watching some YouTube videos, getting caught up. And usually about 6 p.m., somewhere around 6 p.m., I'm free. At that point at the night, I'm pretty free. So let me clarify, because I forgot to add. Monday through Friday, for sure, Monday through Friday, I'm going to go take a nap every morning around 10 a.m., I may wake up in an hour. I may wake up in time for my bus route in the afternoon. It just depends. So there is time there that I'm napping. Again, it could be an hour, could be two hours, three hours. It depends on what I do, what I feel like. And if I want something to eat, some lunch, it's usually something quick. I'll usually open a can of tuna fish and have a can of tuna fish. Something like that. Or if I have some leftover ground turkey or something, I may have a plate of that or make a burrito or a taco or something. A rice. Make some rice and mix it in. Stuff like that. Anyway. So, by 6 p.m., I'm usually free to do whatever. That don't mean I like to do whatever, but I'm usually free. Now, in a perfect world, I would stay up in the morning, not nap. I'd get my workout done, my spin done, my walk done, everything done in the morning. 
I don't like doing that. I don't like working out in the morning. Very rare occasion if I work out in the morning. Very rare. There must be a reason that I'm doing it. You know, I know we have plans. Something has to happen later in the afternoon. Something's going on. Whether it's an emergency or not an emergency or anything. Whatever the case may be. I can hear somewhere. But anyway, I've always just been an, a late afternoon, early evening worker outer. That's just what I've always done. So that eats into some people's time. Because typically people do things in the evening. Well, I'm usually busy. So that's my schedule. That's an everyday thing. Every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm spinning and walking. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'm working out. I'm taking care of myself as best I can. I'm doing things that I want to do, that I have a passion for. I have a goal. Really, my biggest goal right now is to reach a 405-pound bench. When I do that, will I change things up? Will I switch things around and maybe start taking it easy? I don't know. I say I will, I say I will, but I probably won't. Who wants to lose their strength like that? You know, you spend all that time building it. I may not want to lose it right now. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I have a goal. What does what kind of goals do these people have? That are telling you you're wasting your time. What are their goals? What have they done for themselves that's positive? What are their goals? Let's see. Probably sitting around doing nothing. Eating a bag of chips and... Sucking down soda and... Doing other ignorant crap. So... Anyway, this has been a long chat, but it's something that's on my mind. It's something that bothers me a little bit, something that pisses me off a little bit about these ignorant people out there, including your own family. Even your own family is ignorant, and it's unfortunate. But you got to call them how you see them. Guys... Stop letting people dictate what you do. You have one life, and you better take care of it because you don't get do-overs. This ain't a video game. And as my son is going to find out when he dies at an extremely early age, you don't get do-overs. You don't find health packs and rejuvenate yourself. Extra lives. You don't get that. You're not a cat. Anyway, leave in the comments what you think, guys. If you made it this far, most of you will not. So, have a good positive day. Be healthy inside and out. Like, share, subscribe, comment to the Body Beatdown. Where we touch on all kinds of subjects and we go off on people and call out people, even if they're our family. Nobody's off limits. Get up, get out, get rad. Do it to it. We'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. Walkie. I'm wasting my time. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it!